Me and Aaron have just arrived at the beach. Let's get down to the bottom and start looking for some fossils. It's looking like it should be a really promising day today. Let's go along the beach and see what we can find. Now I just flicked this stone up here and it looks like it's already been cracked, but the nodule itself could still contain something. I've just been searching in amongst these stones and I can see a few tasty looking nodules. There is this one here, but just ahead of me, there is this nodule here and then that one there. No telltale signs of this one just yet. So we can give this one a crack with the hammer. And then this one, which hopefully will contain a lovely ammonite fossil. So I've been hunting now on the beach for maybe 15 minutes and I've already found a nice handful of nodules. Here are the nodules that I've managed to collect so far. And what I've just noticed is where I've placed those nodules, there's a perfect ammonite nodule in amongst the shingle just here. We've got a semi-complete ammonite fossil. Now this is in a really rotten limestone nodule, so you should be pretty easy to split open. Probably get a chisel along that edge just there. Should be a nice one. There's another ammonite nodule lingering in amongst the pebbles. It's just down here. See some of the shells started to erode away. Let's get cracking and see what we've got. I think we'll start with a, a nice easy one just to get us going. You can see here we've got a beautiful keel just starting to show. We'll just set that nodule into place. Just give that a few small taps. Looks like the limestone deeper within the nodule isn't as rotten, which is a good sign that the ammonite inside will be well preserved. Got a little split there. So you can see there's still some rock to remove, but that can easily be rectified at home using our air tools. This one's a really small water-worn beach pebble. See there, some of the calcite chambers just starting to appear. Hopefully this one splits open nice and easy. It's already split open. Just took a couple of taps. Oh, it's a really nice specimen. Split open perfect all the way down to the center. Now, depending on preference, you can either keep the ammonite as is, or if you're wanting a more perfect specimen, you could even remove this outer keel to be left with the perfect center that hasn't been eroded away. Awesome. Let's crack another. There aren't any telltale signs on this nodule. I can't actually see anything at all, but just the size and shape tells me that there, there could be something inside. Once I've got this little edge piece off, it should be a little bit easier to split. There we go. Nothing showing so far. We can see a, an ammonite keel just starting to show. Straight away, I'm already thinking that the ammonite won't be well preserved inside. And that's because of all these small calcite veins, which usually fragment the ammonite inside the nodule. Oh, there we go. Is it going to be a good one? Oh, wow. Oh, I'm really impressed with that one. Pretty much perfect. You can see that the center of the ammonite is more well preserved than the outer keel. Some nice pyrite preservation there. You see some of the suture patterns on the ammonite shell. Oh, that is really nice. See here where the ammonite body chamber is being partially crushed. See where the shell kind of crushes in and then becomes more 3D as we get to the center. I'm really pleased with that one. While I've been splitting some of those nodules, Aaron's just been looking in the shingle right where we've been sat and we found this perfect tiny dactyloceros ammonite fossil. I'm surprised he even managed to see it. It's beautiful. We'll have to keep that in our pocket so we don't lose it. Aaron's just told me that he spotted a shale slab over here and it potentially contains a Jurassic melamite deathbed. So let's go and find it, have a look. This slab here, you can see lots and lots of bellum on cross-section. 
but remove some of these stones and we'll flip it over and see if it looks like anything. Oh wow, so many bellum nights. They've started to erode away and wear through to the calcite. We'd never be able to extract these, they're pretty well eroded, but it's still nice to see. The weather's taken a turn for the worst. It started to rain quite a lot, but we're gonna push on and see what else we can find. beach pebble you can see here little cross sections of tiny fossil shells and as well as that there's a small bellonite see there part of the fragma cone there's a stone here which people often will confuse them with vertebrae due to the shape but it's actually just the center core of a much larger nodule but well, unfortunately just the stone there's a nice loose bell of night fossil here. Not a tooth, unfortunately, like some people would imagine it would be. It's actually a bell of night guard, which is the hard outer casing of a squid fossil. Just found three more ammonite nodules. There's one here that's pretty well eroded, and a large one and a small one. And this one here looks like a really tasty nodule. It's typical that off camera would split this tiny ammonite fossil and it actually split open really well. open this much larger nodule and see if we can have the same success there we go now my bet is this is going to be a perfect specimen and it is i'm really pleased with how this specimen turned out it's absolutely incredible to think that over 180 million years ago this creature would have swam the seas and we're only just revealing it now Upon closer inspection, I actually thought it was a good idea to try and split the other side off this ammonite and it actually split open really well. I removed the eroded keel so that we were left with a perfect specimen. If I lift the top off, perfect ammonite. And then if I lift this off, I've got a perfect matrix free ammonite fossil. Now this doesn't happen very often. So I'm really pleased that we managed to get this specimen completely out of the stone. And as well as that, Aaron spotted an ammonite nodule over here. Let's go pick it up see what it looks like. Aaron hasn't told me where it is. I have to try and find it myself. So I'll see if I can spot it and then let's see if you can spot it as well. Okay, I've located it. It's down in this section here. See if you can spot it. Give you a few seconds. Right, it's actually just here. You see the ribs of the ammonite along the edge of the stone. And what Aaron might not have noticed is there's actually an ammonite here as well. Let's have a look. We've got this lovely ammonite specimen. Hopefully we'll get a nice split. Ammonite starting to appear inside. There we go. Oh, look at that. It's a really nice surprise. Everything that's been preserved is exposed. Rather small, a rather beautiful ammonite specimen. There's a nice Cardinia shell fossil that we've just spotted down here. So you're just in amongst the shingle. It's got this pebble with a small shell preserved on the surface, as well as multiple crushed shells. It's too eroded for us to take, but we'll leave it on the beach and someone else might be pleased finding it.
I've just been walking along enjoying the sound of the water droplets and I've spotted a little piece of fish bone. Pretty cool, but we usually leave this. We're just approaching a big patch of stones. So let's look amongst them and see if we can find any nodules and we'll crack them as we go. I found one straight away. This nodule's actually got an ammonite inside and there's a little bivalve shell. There we go. It's a little bit mushy towards the centre, but it should air braid away. Oh, there's a big chunk of an ammonite here. It's a huge keel of a, what looks like a hypotomous ammonite. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a really big chunk. It's such a shame that it's not all there, but look at that calcite infill there. I imagine the chamber is going to be absolutely filled with white calcite crystal. Oh, then next to it, it's another ammonite. See a small hairline crack already forming just after that one tap. Just tease it open with the chisel end of the hammer. Lovely. It's a nice little bell and fossil just here. It's in a really soft piece of shale. It's really cool. Just smooth off this outer shale to make it look nice and neat. Right, we've checked all of those pebbles there. Let's head further along the beach, see what we can find in that old landslide. See a really worn ammonite specimen there. Another worn ammonite nodule. Let's split open a couple of those smaller nodules that we found earlier. They look like they should open pretty well, actually. Not too bad considering they were water worn. That one's actually split open and the outer keel's broken away to reveal a tiny pirateized ammonite. Look at that. Let's get a nice close up of that ammonite. That is so nice. See on that side where it's not as pirateized, or not pirateized at all on that side actually. Whereas this side is lovely and golden. Right, let's hope we've got as much luck with this one. There we go, not too shabby. Just managed to get the other side off as well. Two little imprints and then the ammonite fossil itself. Because we arrived on the beach so late, the tide has actually started making its way in already. So we're gonna make our way over to the landslide, spend maybe 20 or 30 minutes there. We'll round up our finds and then we'll head back up. There's a lot of sandstone on the top of the landslide. Is that anything? No. Another little piece of loose fossil wood. Oh. Now that looks like a very, very nice ammonite nodule. That looks really tasty. Let's give it a crack. I mean, you can see the calcite crystals exposed in this section here. The calcite chambers always look really nice once they've been smoothed off and polished. Should be a pretty nice specimen once it's prepared. That's a lovely pseudo -lyoceros. Might have a middle. We won't know till we take it home to prepare. friend Dave has just met up with us and he showed us some of his finds that he's found while we've been hunting ourselves and he said that we can show it on camera so let's go and have a look and see what he's found. As always he's found plenty of ammonites but these are three of the more interesting pieces that he's found. This first piece is a nice double dactyloceros specimen with a nice big calcite chamber exposed. I think it looks really nice. I think anybody would be pleased to find this specimen if they're hunting on the, on the beach themselves. So this much larger nodule might not look like much but if you look closely all of these individual pieces of calcite are all partial ammonites but what we're most interested in is this ammonite keel here. See here a much larger ammonite keel so presumably the ammonite goes all the way around it started to erode away here but then continues 
further within the block. And this ammonite is a Harposurus ammonite, which is pretty rare. And last but not least, we've got a lovely Dactylioceros nodule. Just tease it all the way around. Oh, there we go. Didn't take much, much persuasion at all. Oh, perfect. Another absolutely amazing ammonite that split so well. The lovely rich brown goes all the way to the centre. Incredible. That concludes this fossil hunt. I hope you enjoyed watching. We've had plenty of nice finds, a nice variety today. We've had the Cardinia shell, Bellamites, Ammonites, different species. We had that Pseudolioceros that Dave found, which we popped as well. I hope you enjoyed watching. We'll see you in the next one.